All right, everybody, just wanted you to meet a couple of friends of ours. This is Ginger and Firefly. They are these puffy fuzzballs of cuteness. Um, <coughs> they're our family pets, and um, they've been getting into a little bit of mischief, constantly digging out of their um, cage here. It's just a mobile chicken coop. Um, you know, we're not using for chickens anymore and we like it for the rabbits because they get to <clears throat> be on the ground and you know eat the grass and not have to you know sit on a metal cage all day so I got a little project gonna try something here to see if I can keep them from digging out um, <clears throat> got some old carpet uh, just cut it into strips and I'm gonna screw it up along the sides here so there's a little, you know, buffer here of carpet that they can't dig through. Uh, we do move this on probably like every other day, every two or three days. Um, so that's the challenge is to see if that carpet can stay in place while we move it around. So I'll show you the progress as we move along. <laughs> finished up here's what it looks like <coughs> so all I did was ran <coughs> the ones across the side first and in the corners I just I cut a slit so I could um, fold it up in the corner attach it to both the front and the side uh, this section along the front is resting on the side, so as I move it, it'll just kind of go along for the ride. Um, the back edge, that's the only thing I have a concern about. Hopefully it doesn't get hung up as it slides along. Uh, we'll give it a test here in a minute. What do you guys think? Is this going to keep you in? Huh? You guys like the carpet? <clears throat> I know the carpet's probably gonna get uh, pretty gross after a while, so this is something we'll just have to, you know, replace in the future if it works. Check it out: tomato plant growing up out of this pipe. <laughs> All right, we'll give it a little test pull. Here's what the coop looks like overall. Um, I don't know if I've showed this before, but uh, this design's pretty good. Uh, I like it a lot, <clears throat> and um, you know, it's had it around for probably two or three years now, so it's endured a lot. Uh, we've moved it, you know, from home to home a couple times now. Uh, basically, it's two by fours along the bottom. Uh, I did screw some conduit, electrical conduit pipe along the sides. So it's kind of like a sled and then there's the uh, metal conduit you know that I bent up for the frame um, use the hardware cloth and uh, yeah it's been a really good coop for us just put a tarp over top for shade and protection from the rain um, it's our nesting box so yeah, the chickens really like this coop, <clears throat> and it works good. So now it's being used as another purpose for the rabbits. All right, well, for now, I'm going to test out this carpet and see if, if it pulls and it doesn't uh, get all caught up. Alright, that seemed to do pretty good. Here's a final update to the modifications I made to the chicken coop for the rabbits by putting this carpeting in. I'd have to say it's a success. The rabbits have not dug out. And, uh, you know, the moving of the coop is still the same. Um, 
and the carpet doesn't fold under itself so uh, so far so good I have noticed the rabbits do like to just sit around and hang out on the carpet um, so it tends to be a collection point for some poop but we do keep a little um, broom handy here to kind of sweep it off back into the grass uh, before we move them onto new ground. Also got a new addition here. But anyway, yeah, overall, um, glad I did this carpet. We'll see how long it holds up, but for now it's doing the trick.